Hey guys, Tanya Cardwell here, Pavlov Dog Training. I want to share with you how to discriminate between a high quality prong collar and a piece of crapola. Number two, that I really would prefer you just to stay the bleep away from. I'm gonna show you examples of both quality, not so quality, and tell you how you can discriminate, all right? Preferred brand, Herm Springer, German brand, as with many things German, the engineering, quality, execution of design, superior. Apparently not only do Germans make uh, things that go vroom vroom, well, they also make pinch collars pretty darn well. So there are a few things that I want you to look for just so you know you're actually getting a legitimate Herm Springer because there are quite a few knockoffs and bogus Herm Springers masquerading themselves on Amazon, on Google. Sometimes you can read the reviews, so sometimes professionals will notice discrepancies and um, we'll post about that just so other people know that this is uh, not as advertised. And once uh, Amazon knows, they eventually, I feel like they eventually pull the product, but sometimes it takes a few weeks or months for that to happen. So anyway, so this is what I want you to look for. For one, I'm gonna grab the bigger one just as a visual for you to see a little bit easier. I want you to look at the links and I want you to look at the points. The points should be slightly beveled, slightly rounded. It's mild, okay? You should be able to take your finger, okay? You should not be cut by that, okay? Cheaper ones, it's almost as if you can visualize them on the conveyor belt, right, during manufacturing. They're here, your bandsaw, and you can almost visualize just zero, 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 and they're just blunt cut, right? They're not, there's no love. There's no love to the sides. Next, look for your center point. From the center point, your prongs should pivot opposite one another. Okay, usually this goes by the trachea. Knockoffs. No center point. Prongs all face the same direction. Next, I want you to look at the connection point between your chain and the links. It should look like so. It says Springer and then HS on there. I don't think you can see that due to the light reflection. Knockoffs will replace this part with that part. My guess is that it's just cheaper to manufacture this than this, all right? The other thing, and this is gonna be more something that you could feel if you're holding both uh, in your hand or if you're really used to working with both, but they tactily feel different. They feel different. The Herm Springer feels a little bit more solid, substantial. This just feels lighter weight. It feels if I could even say tinkly, like it tinkles. It feels like a cheaper metal. I think I might have just made up that word in context, it tinkles, but it's like, it make, ah, it just feels like a cheap metal. It almost, ladies, if you've ever uh, bought cheap earrings from some kind of teeny bopper jewelry shop like Claire's, and you put those, you put that cheap metal in your ears four hours later, they're itchy, you get the bolly balls because your body is protesting the cheap metal. That's what this reminds me of. I would guess this has a high quality or higher quantity of nickel, right? Herm Springer, primarily uh, sterling silver. Now, just like humans, dogs can be more allergic to this, 
right? It's a cheaper metal, especially with your short haired dogs, like your Weimaraners. So I've noticed on these knockoffs, which I have tried to get away with before I started to form more of opini opinions, um, you're gonna get a lot more You get a lot more of that on the cheap metals, um, especially with your uh, allergy sensitive dogs, okay? The nice thing about Herm Springer is if you have an uber allergy sensitive dog, even if uh, they don't do well with the sterling silver, you can always upgrade to chrome, which is kind of like the Mercedes Benz. It's a higher quality metal. Um, I mean, I, I don't know of any dogs that are allergic to chrome much fewer um, but yeah the other thing is the metal and the design is more fluid with the Herm Springer than the knockoff so I feel like the knockoffs often catch on one another they don't pressure release as smoothly as organically um, like if I pressure like I just even felt then, I just felt like this like snap, snap. It's kind of one of those things that once you work with both, you start to discriminate and just get a sense that it tactily, it doesn't, see even that's, that wasn't in an alignment. I don't wanna have to be popping it into alignment. Prong colors are used for pressure release, like all walking tools. That pressure release you want as fluid and smooth as possible it makes it easier for the dog and the handler okay so invest in like two or three more dollars get a, a legit herm springer um get the real thing it's better return on your investment and if you get any knockoffs don't just complain on your facebook page or don't you know i want you to notice but then make sure you go in and write a review make, make sure you like say hey like this was marketed as herm springer and it's not some of them um, don't mark it as Herm Springer, but they'll do a little like play on words. Notice this one, Hamilton Sterling. Ain't no Sterling Silver here. <laughs> I really think they were trying to go with a like name play. Uh, Herm Springer, Hamilton Sterling. They ain't the same folks, they ain't the same. So, not all prong colors are created equal. Hopefully this helps you in your consumer choices. If you have any questions, I'd be uh, reach out, Tanya at PavlovDogTraining.com. And thanks for watching. Um, interact in some way, just so I know I'm not just talking to my Android phone. Um, and thank you for investing in your pet. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.